I vow to end each and every day with you, no matter how long or stressful. You will always be my favorite person to come home to. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Mm -hmm. I, I promise to always be your best friend, biggest fan, travel buddy, number one supporter, and stylist. <laughs> I vow to... I vow to learn how to follow instructions in the kitchen, to be a better sous chef, and to always boil the water for the correct amount of time, and to cut the tips off the asparagus before I cook them. <laughs> I promise to always let you sleep when you are sleepy, and to wake you up when it is time to start our days together. I vow to be more spontaneous with you, and to continue exploring different sushi restaurants different parts of New York and the world with you. I promise to keep pushing you to step outside your comfort zone for the small and the big things and to let you do the same for me. I promise to be by your side during the good and the bad times and to make you smile, laugh, and hold your hand along the way. I love you. I love you too. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yay. We're, we're good. We're good? Oh, awesome. All right. Shira, my love, you look breathtaking today. Skipping all the times that we must have crossed paths in college, our story started six years ago, and my feet have never returned to the ground. Two young kids in tangential social circles, made smaller by their moves from Ann Arbor to New York City, were lucky enough to find each other. It was clear from the very first time we hung out, you were smart, funny, down to earth, adorably beautiful, and often the life of the party. I remember a night early on when I first knew we might be forever. You called me weird. I said, you're right, I am weird. You're actually pretty normal. And without missing a beat, you said, you think I'm normal? I'm weird, trust me. Six years later, and boy, you were right. <laughs> In, in that moment, I remember thinking, normal's boring. I need someone who I can be myself with. Someone who embraces the other's weird and loves them for it. The statement rings true all these years later and we have that. I love every bit of what makes you you. Thanks for loving me too. Your greatest gift to the world may be the love and compassion and support that you give to your friends and family. With all the amazing people who have your back, it's my privilege to be your best friend, your confidant, and your partner in crime, or justice. <laughs> I vow to celebrate every day as if it's our anniversary, to spend time with our closest friends and family, and to always welcome new ones into our lives. I vow to love you always, till our dying days and beyond. I'll always be by your side as equals through our triumphs and our tragedies, our celebrations and sorrows. We'll always be a team. I love you, Shira and I so look forward to what life has in store for us. I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. I will forever love you. <laughs> that was more than short. <laughs> it was a minute and a half. <laughs>
identification happens soon. All right, everyone get drinks so we can start giving lachayams. <laughs> Okay, yeah, might okay. More what? Yamakas, I guess. Let's try to bring out some yamakas. Yeah, there's someone else coming. <laughs> yeah. I am a man of honor. Who else would like? I have a. Paul, you want Regus or Hey, Jer. Okay. So, what's happening? I told Andy he's the MC. <laughs> right. All right. Was, I mean, I think we want to hear a speech. We want to hear a speech. There'll be speeches. Let's get a speech. Woo! Let's get a speech. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's great to have you all here today. And uh, I look forward to the rest of the night. We'll probably go around the circle and just put a couple of you guys on the spot. So, uh, cheers. Yeah, cheers. I will, I will follow by saying that just a few minutes ago, Max and Shirt gave each other their vows, and it was so touching to listen to, and so funny and so touching at the same time, that it was just an absolutely perfect moment to, to listen to the two of you doing that. So, L'chaim. 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 And I'll add to this, that at the <laughs> same thing. It was a very moving speech, two very deserving people. They deserve to have found each other. And L'chaim. 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 Guys, we got to out, like, liveliness them. Come on. Oh, yeah. All right, we got to out. Uncle Juice Mark, you got, a, you, got, you got a little toast? Juice it up. Uh, my toast is to Max and Shira. You'll be carrying on the name of Simkowitz down through the generations. Nothing means more to me than this. And um, you should know that uh, Stuart, Kathy, and... Um, Help me. Suzanne. Suzanne, Suzanne. Uh, will be loving, wonderful parents. I know, I know that. Sure. They already are. They and already we are. Welcome, we welcome her into the family. Kaya. 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 Mm. I'll go. I'll go. Okay. Uh, All right. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. And then we need some Michigan humor. And, and then we need some, like, singing or something. Or, you guys will start after this. So singing I'm something. Todd. I'm Uncle Todd. I want to uh, I want to toast to Max and to Shira, and I want to thank you for inviting us all to join in your simcha and to make it more wonderful and more meaningful. And to have a great time. May you only have a wonderful marriage full of blessings, happiness. May you love each other. May you work the world a better place. May your love spread out from all these people to everybody that you meet. Let's hi. Chaim, Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Simon Tov, Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Simon Tov, Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Simon Tov, Eanu, 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 Uivo Yisrael, Eanu, Eanu, Uivo Yisrael, Eanu, Eanu, Uivo Yisrael. All right. We got Ben. Michigan, somewhere. Bedford. Fox Lane. Max, I don't know if I can say anything that hasn't already been said. But, I know you can. Let me know if I agree when we. Uh, Andy gave me a shot of vodka. You I'll know, take one really more before we leave. Hear both sides because I primarily know you the best. 
and uh, hearing all the nice things that Shira says that she's going to vow for you and you the same, it was, it was truly beautiful and you were really lucky to have her, man, and you know what, she's really lucky to have you. So, Mazel Tov, for the best. Hey, right, cheers. Chaim. Chaim. More vibe, who's next? <laughs> David Melech, Melech Yisrael, David Melech, Yisrael, David Melech, Melech Yisrael, Say something, Nate? Sure. Uh, <laughs> as far as people go and as far as friends go, Max, you're all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey! That's, that doesn't get much better. Than that. <laughs> I made a few words. <laughs> so, so those are the you can nominate steps. people. I'll nominate Point. you. Okay. Point. Shush. Oh. Oh. In a moment, you will all be invited to come up and greet Shira, her family, and Max. Jewish tradition believes that a bride is extra holy on her wedding day, and therefore you may be lucky enough to receive a blessing from Shira. After the couple up on Eve and Tish, Max will be danced into this room to greet our beautiful bride. It is at this time that Shira and Max will see each other for the first time as a true bride and groom. With all of us surrounding them, they will sign their ketubah and prepare for the wedding ceremony. Shira, you and Max are so blessed to be surrounded today and always by so many people who love you. Before our senior year in Michigan, we made a pact to become best friends and accomplish this very quickly. I have been lucky enough now to call you a best friend for almost a decade. Whether we are running half marathon, FaceTiming each other, traveling to new countries, or sitting on each other's couches, we always know how to support each other in the happiest and toughest moments. Over the years, I have also been able to watch your relationship with Max grow, and I love seeing how happy you make each other. I hope that you feel extra love right now as you look at all the people here to celebrate with you. I couldn't be more excited for the adventure you're beginning with Max. Today, we are here to celebrate your wedding, but more than that, we are here to celebrate your lifelong marriage. Today's Zumba is just the start of the life you are building together. Ever get 
Sending love to you guys and happiness. Cheers. 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 To Max and Shira. Max, I've known you for four years now, minus a five month pickup. But um, I can honestly say that uh, I've never met a pair more suited for each other. And I love your mom as much as you love Shira. Wow. Max and Shira. <laughs> I'll say something nice about Max because Amos and I wrote our speech to Shira for tonight. <laughs> so Max, as everyone has said, Max is a great friend. Uh, it's in the darkest moments where he shows his friendship the brightest, uh, and, and that's what I think is, is, is a real testament of a good friend. Uh, and, and he's very good about putting himself second and being there for you. And uh, as we get older, that becomes increasingly important and increasingly apparent. So, Chaim to Max, a great Hi friend and a mentor. Chaim. What else we got? What other Jewish songs? Odia Shama. Where's the beating? Odia Shama. Well, we're gonna walk you into that. Let's do another song. It, we can repeat things. Come back to the it was easy. Okay. Simon Tov, 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 Sim
Do yourself a favor, in the darkest, darkest times, learn to be a little bit deaf to you. <laughs> Cheers! You want to let Jeff? So, um, well said. for those who don't me, know me, I'm uh, Shira's cousin Jeff, and I live down the street from Shira. Most Not of anymore, life. you live in Texas. Well, now I don't, and she doesn't live there either. But. <laughs> Lived down the street from Shira for most of my life, or most of her life, and I've never seen her as happy as she has been since she met Max. Max, you're a wonderful person. So happy to have you in the family. Cheers. So I don't think I've ever met anyone who likes a Bedeckin more than Mike Lazar. So I think you have to say something. Say something, Mike. Drink first. Need to make a cheer. See you, man. Congratulations. You look good. You're on Sunday. I know. I did that. Max and Shira, so happy to be here, so happy to celebrate you guys. You're the best couple I know. Can you spell? Oh. Cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna drink I'll drink this one. I don't know when I'm gonna drink it. So what's our actual timing going in there? Did she say? I guess we're gonna the band. All right, two minute hiatus, two minute hiatus. <laughs> You know, talk semi nice about me. So here we have uh, Travis. Oh, okay, uh, His eyes are open, even though sorry, you can't sorry, see them. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, many great words have been said about you already, so I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Uh, toast to being a good son, wherever your dad is. Uh, a great friend to all of us, and to your next chapter, being a great husband. Hey! Cheers! Hey. I am. Halfway decent would be good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Erol. He volunteered. Wow, the alpha. <laughs> Max, what's your chair all the best? I couldn't be happier for you. Speak uh, up. Speak up? Yeah. Um, let's see. <laughs> Been with you this year in New York, Amsterdam, Ann Arbor. Been with you guys all over. It's been awesome. Couldn't be happier for you. Very nice. Hey, look, hi. Um... Great. Oh, we got 
Responsibilities that the two of you assume for one another this afternoon. It's also something that ties us to those that came before us and their loving bonds to one another. During the many years of your relationship, you have done these things out of love and affection. In signing a ketubah, you now do them out of responsibility and obligation as well. You commit to caring for one another, for providing for the others, physical and intimate needs, it binds you legally. Your ketubah is particularly meaningful as it was designed by your cousin Meirav and reflects yeah. 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 I'm going to ask the witnesses to come forward. They're forward. Woo. Woo. Okay. So here's what you're witnessing. Okay. You're witnessing that Shira and Max are accepting upon themselves everything that's spelled out in the ketubah. Okay. okay? So Max, if you accept everything that's spelled out in the ketubah, I want you to take this from me. Shira, same. If you accept everything that's spelled out in the ketubah. <laughs> okay. 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 Who's going first? Same. Is it, am I supposed to? Okay. Okay. Do I? It just must be me. It'll work. What's that? Do we, do we need an outside legal expert to read this for you? No, we had one. <laughs> yeah. I think you guys will carry me back out too. Yeah, Jer. Yeah, Jer. Yes, ladies. <laughs> Dan yes, Danny, ladies. that's a permanent signature forever. I hope so. Do it well. I'm sweating so much. Same. Shush has a, a, a hanky. So he signed his first, his middle name, his third middle name. Kathy, you want to hold it so she can have it? Mwah. I love you too. You're next. You're going to sign it up against the easel? Yeah, I might make Piper bend down and give me her back. <laughs> Just kidding. Wow, a face of disgust to be involved in the right, wedding. Max, you're up next just, now. just our English name, right? No, you're Hebrew too, but if you can't do it, you'll do it later. English okay. If you didn't practice, if you didn't Sorry, practice yeah, it, I thought that you that's said totally that we just fine. need. I know I do. You just sign it in English, you'll do it later. Don't okay. Style and character, man. This is hard. You'll do it later, seriously? Don't worry. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't practice. I thought we were just doing English. Honestly, it's all null and void now. Hey, you're sweating too. Yeah. 
my pits. Okay, next up is Bedeckin, guys. Okay. Oh, you're gonna yeah. And you have the cards for the Sheva Brachas, right? Uh, I have cards for Sheva Brachas. Great. Okay. Uh, wait, who's this? Who's in the way? Uh, We're going that way? Yeah, just wait. Okay. I need to bail her, right? Yes. Do you want me to say something about it publicly or not? Sure. Okay. Friends, one more thing! One more thing! I like having your attention. I like the way you're paying attention. Thank you. The last thing we do before we go into the chuppah is make sure that we have the correct bride and groom. <laughs> <laughs> the Bedeckin is about coming together in marriage, making sure we have our right couple, the groom checking and the bride checking, and then for one final time, lowering the veil over the bride. It's transparent when we come together in partnership. It is fixed as you change and grow together over the years. So I'm going to ask you to do that. I'm going to offer a blessing and then parents are going to do it too. Make sure it's the right shearer or the right bride. <laughs> Open up. Shalom. Parents, come give her a blessing. Come give your son a blessing, a kiss on the forehead. Son a blessing. Karen. Just a kiss on the forehead. Or wherever. <laughs> Yeah.
You're allowed to hold hands. Bruchim habayim v'shem Adonai berach nucha mibet Adonai mi adir al hakol mi baruch al hakol mi gadol al hakol hu yevarach hachatan v'hakala. With the traditional call, we welcome our bride and groom, Shira and Max, to the Kupa. We also welcome all of you, their family and friends who have come to celebrate this wonderful moment in their lives. The Kupa where you stand represents the home that you've chosen to build together, blessed on top with Max's grandfather's Talib. In your circling, you created the sacred space of the life which you'll share together from now. We welcome you in this moment as your dreams are fulfilled, at this moment of merging of your two lives into one path. Rukhim Havayim, we welcome you to loving partnership. Borei piri hagafen, Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam, Asher kitshanu v'mitzvotav, V'tzivanu al ha'arayot, V'asar lanu et ha'arusot, V'hitir lanu et ha'nesu olanu, A'yedei chupa v'kidushin, Baruch atah Adonai, Mekadesh amo Yisrael, Praise are you, Adonai, our God, who rules the universe, whose mitzvot add holiness to our lives, who teaches us sanctity in our families. Praise are you, Adonai, who sanctifies the people of Israel with Kupa, the wedding canopy, and Kiddushin, the rites of marriage. As you share the wine, grape juice, Today, we pray that you share all things from this day forward with love and understanding with the sweetness of this moment before you. As Shabbat ended last night, I, I got a little nervous when I checked the score of the game. I thought that the only thing we were going to have to celebrate tonight was a wedding and not a Michigan victory, but I'm happy to see that they made it so we had a double samba this evening. Max, I'm going to ask you to place that ring on Shira's forefinger while you do that. Repeat after me. Hare. Hare. At. At. Look at her eye. <laughs> Mikudeshet. Mikudeshet. Say the word Lee. Lee. Bitabat. Bitabat. Zo. Zo. Kedat. Kedat. Moshe. Moshe. The Israel. The Israel. By this ring. By this ring. You are sanctified to me. You are sanctified to me. As my wife. As my wife. In accordance with the laws. In accordance with the laws. Of Moses. Of Moses. And the people of Israel. And the people of Israel. Shira, sure, repeat after me. Harini. Harini. Mikudeshet. Mikudeshet. Lecha. Lecha. Hare. Hare. Atah. Atah. Mikudash. Mikudash. Say the word Li. Li. Bitabat, Bitabat. Zo, Zo. Kedat, Kedat, Moshe, Moshe. V'Yisrael. Behold, I am sanctified to you. Behold, I am sanctified to you. And by this ring, and by this ring you, are my you are my husband. According to the laws, to the laws of, Moses of Moses and the people of Israel. Israel. Now it's official. <laughs> Shortly before the ceremony, we signed this beautiful ketubah created by Shira's cousin, Meirav. We're going to read it in part. 
באחד בשבת, שמונה ימים לחודש אלול, שנת חמשת אלפים ושבע מאות ושבעים ותשע לבריאת העולם, למניין שאנו מונים כאן בבולטימור, מרילנד, איך החתן מרדכי נפתלי בן שמשון זינו ושינה בלט, אמר להדה בתולתה שירה דבורה בת יהודה ראובן וחנה, הווי לי לאינטו, כדת משה וישראל, ואנא אפלח ואוקיר גזון ואפרנס איתי חיליכי, כי הולכות גוברין יהודאין, והכל שרר וקיים. On the first day of the week, the eighth of the month of Elul, in the year 5779, corresponding to the eighth of September, in Baltimore, Maryland, Shira Danielle, the daughter of Karen Garber and Andrew Sandler, and Max Tyler, son of Kathy Simchowitz and Stuart Simchowitz, said to each other, you are my partner, according to the laws of Moses and Israel, and I will cherish, honor, and support you in accordance with the custom of Jewish spouses who cherish, honor, and support their partners faithfully. This ketubah has been witnessed and signed in accordance to Jewish law and tradition, and all is valid and binding, and it's signed Neum Ed, Aliza Bat Yechazkel, and Neum Ed, Daniel Yaakov Ben Ruben Eliyahu. Max, the ketubah becomes Shira's property. We're going to ask you to give it to her as a gift. The first of many we you know of your married life. <laughs> you two come to the Hupa surrounded by family and friends. It is open on all four sides, as all who are present with you here today share your dreams and even have many of their own dreams for you. Even those who are here only in spirit had dreams for you, and today their dreams are being fulfilled as well as you come together under the coupon. You two are not the type to have your heads in the clouds. You are among the most down-to-earth and level-headed couples that I've met. Not surprisingly, your relationship started out slowly. You had heard about each other, met at Michigan, crossed paths often, and met again in New York City. When I asked you about your relationship, you disagreed about your anniversary. Thankfully, after today, you'll have a new anniversary, <laughs> upon which we can all agree. You both said that you were compatibly weird. I don't think I would describe you that way. <laughs> but being able to laugh at yourself is an excellent foundation for marriage. You turned serious when I asked you about one another. Max, we are struck by how thoughtful you are. Shira told me that she appreciates the way you care for her, the way you advocate for her, the way you challenge her. She is warmed by how you are with her family and your family and how thoughtful you are. Max, you also see Shira as pushing you to think of things in different ways, how you can be absolutely yourself with her, and you each think the other is fun. As all of us here today who are the people in your life who love you and want the best for you, we take so much pleasure in seeing you here just a few months shy of six years from your first date, and we see how beautifully suited you are. The way you're comfortable with each other, the way you support one another, the way you champion each other. You reserve your softness for each other at home, which is a beautiful way to go about the world. This Shabbat will read from Parshat Kitetse, which conveniently describes some of the mitzvot, the commandments, which our tradition feel are important for marriage and a family. Before a newlywed is permitted to go out and work on behalf of the community, he and she are first expected to establish themselves at home with their new spouse. Our tradition understands that new marriages need time and nurturing. They shouldn't be disturbed. <laughs> and the couple, you are commanded to dedicate your first year of married life to one another, to rejoicing together. 
in order to build a foundation on your relationship. Shira and Max, we pray that you always make time to share the precious moments of life with one another, that you celebrate with each other, that you rejoice with one another, so that your relationship will evolve beautifully into 120 happy and healthy years together. And together we say amen. amen. At a Jewish wedding, not only does the rabbi offer blessings, but members of the family are also invited to offer blessings, seven, for the couple, one for each day of our creation. In our tradition, the number seven carries special significance. It's the number of wholeness and holiness. The first wedding blessing is recited in memory of Shira and Max's grandparents who are smiling down on them today. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu amalach haolam Borei peri hagafem Praise to you God who brings forth fruit from the vine. Second blessing is recited in memory of Max's late friends, Brian DeVoto and Eric David Smith. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu amalach haolam Shakol barali chvodo Praise are you, God, who shapes the universe, all things created. Speak of your glory. Shira's Aunt Kathy is honored with the third blessing. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam yotzer ha'adam. Praised are you, Adonai, our God, who rules the universe, creator of the universe. Shira's uncles, Howie and Bob Garber, are honored with the fourth blessing. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher yatzar atah adam b'tzalmo, b'tzalem d'muta b'nito, v'dit kinlo mimenu b'nyan adayad. Baruch atah Adonai, yotzer ha'adam. Praised are you, Adonai, our God, who rules our universe, who created human beings in the divine image, who structured us in the image of God, and who said, it is not for a person to live alone. I will make a fitting helper for each one. Praised are you, Adonai, creator of human beings. Amen. 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 Shira's cousin Linda Sterling is honored with the fifth brapa. So Tassis Vitagal Akara, Vicky Boots Boneha Vito Havis in Ha, Baruch Atadonai, Miss Amer Zion Bevaneha. Make Zion rejoice as her children return to her in joy. Praise are you, O Lord, who causes Zion to rejoice in her children. Amen. 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 Max's friend Kara Kaiser is honored with the sixth blessing. <coughs> Sameach tsamach reim ahuvim Kesamech echa yitzircha vegan edem ikedem Baruch ata Adonai Misameach atan vechalam Amen. Grant perfect joy to these loving companions as you did for the first man and woman in the Garden of Eden. Praised are you, Adonai, who creates the joy of pride and Amen. Amen. Suzanne Simpowitz, Max's stepmom, is honored with the final blessing. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Ashabar asasam simcha atam bekava Ashabar asasam simcha atam bekava Hila Amen. 
Mechupatam, Ona Arim, Mimishan Ginatam, Baruch Ata Adonai, Mesamea Hatan, Im Hakala. Praised are you, Adonai, our God, who rules the universe, created joy, gladness, happiness, and blessing, pleasure, and song, delight, laughter, love, harmony, peace, and companionship. Adonai, our God, may there always be heard in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem voices of joy and gladness, voices of pleasure and song, voices of those who proclaim, who proclaim, give thanks to Adonai, our God, is good. God's faithfulness is eternal. Praised are you, Adonai, who has kept us alive, sustained us, and brought us to this joyous time. Amen. Amen. Both of you have acted out of love and affection in accordance with these rites and ceremonies instituted by our Torah and in accordance with the laws of the state of Maryland. You, Max, and you, Shara, are now husband and wife. ceremony with the smashing of a glass. This act reminds us of all in the world that is to be repaired and celebrated as Max and Shira go out as a newly married couple. We pray that as many pieces as the glass breaks into that your joy and your happiness be multiplied from this day forward. After Max does that, we're going to sing Mazel Tov to them and celebrate with them as they leave the Chupan. All right. No, 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 no. 
That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> My goodness. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. Get some party crashes. There we go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, for the first time anywhere, Shira and Max Sukaway! Yeah. 
sing a song. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it's hard to get sing a song. It'll make a day. Smile so hard to bear sing a song. It'll make a way. Sing a song. Sing, sing, sing. Sing a song. 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 Much, ladies and gentlemen, we're night song, and we're here for you all night. So, I don't know, I don't All right, at this time, ladies and gentlemen, the parents of the bride, Karen Garber and Andy Sandler, will welcome you. I need her to straighten I want to tell you all how emotional this afternoon was when we were taking pictures up on top of Federal Hill. I would like to share with you how exciting and emotional this afternoon was when we were taking pictures on Federal Hill. Cher with her bridesmaids looked beautiful, and they all had tears in their eyes. The groomsmen were all watching football games on their cell phones. <laughs> Thanks to everyone for joining us and being part of Cher and Max's wedding. It's a very special night for us, and your presence makes, makes it even more special. Many people have come from across this country and numerous relatives from Israel. Fanny, Tammy, Dahlia, and David, and of course, um, Manuka came from Australia. I almost forgot about Manuka. Sharon and Max have an extraordinary circle of friends, 
and family, and they have shared and will certainly share to con continue to share them in common. You are each part of that circle. I also want to thank Dorian for not joining us tonight. While in significant light of the trauma of the Bahamas and the Carolinas, I've worried about a hurricane since the day we set this wedding. We have recently gone from having two unmarried children to now having a married daughter and a son on his way to marriage to Amanda in the not too distant future. We want to welcome certainly the Simquitz family and also the Blake family into ours. We could not be happier as to both. Some of you have visited our house during the last several months and saw that our dining room had turned into Santa's workshop. There were, this resulted from all of the hundreds of hours of work that Karen put into making this night so special. My thinking was that we would rent the Elks Lodge, take some rooms at the Red Roof Inn, borrow black satin yarmulkes from the bins of Kizikamuna, and maybe have a barbecue. Karen put in extraordinary efforts to make tonight as beautiful and as perfect as it is, and I want to express my love and appreciation for all she has done, starting with the invitations and continuing through the flowers, the chuppah, which is no longer a chuppah, um, and um, the, uh, uh, the goodie bags you will take with you when you leave. But everything was done by her. She is the heart and soul of our family. Thanks also to Kathy Simkowitz and Josh, and Stuart and Suzanne Simkowitz, and Samantha and their entire extended family who have welcomed Shira and us into their family. We look forward to many more Simkowitz together. Shira is very special. She has a fierce determination to accomplish her goals. She pushes and pushes and pushes. We learned that at an early age. Many of you know the story about her and her movie star and the movie star Adam Sandler's parents, as opposed to our cousin Adam Sandler. Um, if you don't know that story, ask us about it. She continues with that attitude today with her career in law. No doubt it will continue. She gets what she wants, but she does it in a positive and thoughtful way. Similarly, she collects and holds on to her friends, starting with her friends from Krieger Schechter, Beth Tefilla, University of Michigan. Is, is there anybody who can tell that they went to University of Michigan? Cardoza Law School and her career in life in New York. She does not leave people behind. Personally, we are sorry we no longer get to visit Ann Arbor. Karen and I are thrilled Shira and Max found each other. They sort of knew each other or knew of each other at University of Michigan, but really became, became friends and started dating in New York City. We first met Max over dinner in New York. He passed the first te test with Karen and me by not laughing too hard when I set my menu on fire. <laughs> Our first real exposure to Max was in Florida. It became, to us, it became clear to us at that point what a special person he was. First, he linked our TV in Florida to another TV in New York to allow us to watch a Ravens game not being shown locally. We witnessed his complete devotion to his family by the effort he went through to get his sister Samantha something special on a special day. He shows the same loving attention to Kathy and Josh, Stuart and Suzanne, and his late grandmother, as well as to us, our family, including Barry. I would add that he passed the final test by staying up to watch Casablanca with me one night. My daughter was not going to marry someone who had never seen Casablanca. <laughs> Sharon and Max now have thoroughly integrated their extensive families and friends. However, we know he gives his full love, devotion, and attention to Shira as she does to Max. Some advice from famous people. Lyndon Johnson said, I've learned that only two things are necessary to keep one's wife happy. First, let her think she's having her own way. Second, let her have it. And then, in the words of the notorious RBG, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, <clears throat> When she was recently asked about the secret of her long marriage, she said, it helps sometimes to be a little deaf. <laughs> In the Sheva Brachas, the seven blessings just pronounced this evening, it talks about Ram Achuvim. It means loving friends. Passion fades, but friendship, if we're lucky, endures. To have a friend for life with whom you share the deepest experiences and also the daily difficulties is perhaps the most best arrangement the world affords to our souls. I believe that Sheer and Max have found, each other's, have found in each other friends, supporters, and partners for life. So may Max and Sheer live together in faith and harmony, blessed with an ever greater capacity to love and be loved, to celebrate life and with courage and integrity to face the inevitable difficult moments. May their sensitivities to one another forever increase in their search for each other's true selves. May they learn to understand one another's silences, tears, and laughter. 
May they be blessed and supported in the creation of a Bayit Neman Yisrael, a beautiful Jewish home. L'chaim to Shira and Max. Hi, I'm Jessica, and I'm Shira's best friend from home. And I'm Julie, and I'm Shira's best friend from college. And this is how we've been introducing ourselves for the past six years. So when Shira asked us to be co-maids of honor, it just made sense. Between the two of us, we've seen the entire trajectory of Shira's life. We've been through, there, through it all from preschool until now. The two of us can name each phase that Shira's been through. No, for real, we named them. Phase one, cute Shira. This was probably Karen and Andy's favorite phase. She had the most irresistible chubby cheeks and cute little nose, but this phase didn't last long. <laughs> phase two, <laughs> awkward cool Shira. I know that sounds confusing, but truly describes middle school life. Shira wanted to be friends with everyone and everyone wanted to be friends with her, but she still had her awkward charm. Phase three, Shira the rebel. I'm not going to talk about this phase too long because I don't want to get her in any more trouble than she was in high school. But in this phase, we definitely had some fun times. Shout out to the BT gals. <laughs> but of course, high school came to an end and Shira was much cooler than the rest of us and jetted off to Michigan for college. And that's where I come in. Phase four, crop top Shira, AKA. Shira Banks. <laughs> and anyone who went to Michigan or has seen picture of us, pictures of us from Michigan knows what I mean. Shira was happiest when she was wearing a crop top and sunglasses with lens cut out, just like these. Dancing at a frat party on a ledge, rocking out with her really cool dance moves. But without fail, no matter how hard we partied, or didn't sleep, Shira was up at 5 a.m., ready for the next day, even if that meant going to the library. Which brings us to phase five, studious Shira. This was an intense phase, probably none of our favorites. Shira worked harder than anyone I know in law school, and it wasn't easy, but it was worth it, and we're so proud of the lawyer she is today. That's the thing about Shira. Throughout all the phases, there have been a few things that remain constant. Shira is the most hardworking, committed person we know. She gives 100% to everything, whether that's studying, her job, or her friendships. Even with all the stress, she is, is and has always been the most positive and caring friend you could ask for. Shira is the best person we know at making time for others. Even when her schedule is the most grueling out of all of ours, she loves gathering a big group for Friday night Shabbats, a long-standing tradition in her family. Shout out to Andy's hot dogs. Shira is that person that unites the group. We're now in a new phase, and it's called Schmax. Shira and Max could not be more perfect for each other. It's so obvious how much they love each other and Michigan, of course. They have a mutual love of sushi, which is a critical criteria for the two of us. Max is an excellent chef, and there isn't a grocery list he can't master. He is kind and sensitive and always puts Shira first. Plus, he loves her dance moves. We've never seen Shira more happy than when she talks about how much she loves Max. Max, we see how much you love Shira, so we're going to let you take on the next few phases. You get to be her number one person for married Shira, the longest of all the phases. Good luck. <laughs> Shira, you are our best friend. We love you. We will always be here for you. We've been through it all together, and we are so excited for what's next. We are so happy for you and Max, and thankful we could be a part of this day. Max, you might be husband, but remember, we always hold the title best, best friend. friend. to Max and Shira's friends and family. It is great to meet you all. For those of you that I have not yet had a chance to meet, I'm Amos, and I'm one of the best men. 
And I'm Danny. I'm also a best man. But as I hope to make clear, I am the number one best man. <laughs> we know that everyone would prefer to be eating and dancing rather than listening to the two of us. So we'll try to keep this speech just like the groom, short, sweet, and only a little bit funny. <laughs> First of all, we'd like to take the parents and the family of the bride and groom for throwing this amazing weekend. Thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Sandler. Thank you guys for bringing us here for such a beautiful simcha. And thank you to everyone who has helped in preparing for this celebration of our dear friends, Shira and Max. Shira and Max, what an honor it is for me to stand here with you two on this special day. Today is actually almost the 10 year anniversary of when I met you both as freshmen in Ann Arbor. Shira, you and I were dorm mates at Oxford with all the other kids who had their rabbis write them exception letters to say that they kept kosher. Since then, we've shared many Shabbat tables, tailgates, pregames, and 4th of July, foge, birthday parties. Max, you and I met together through pledging and we quickly bonded. You took me in as a squatter in your West Squad dorm room, and then we spent the next three years as roommates. We spent sleepless nights together, either studying or partying, and we both moved to New York after college. Who would have known after all this time that I'd be toasting you two here in marriage? Yes, who would have known? <laughs> Thank you for the rhetorical question, Danny. Shira, you look especially beautiful tonight. And Max, it is truly an honor to be tied as your best friend. And to be tied with someone who is as much fun as Danny is an honor in and of itself. I too first met Max during our freshman year at Michigan. That semester, we were in the same introductory engineering classes together. As 18 year olds, we shared an insatiable quest for learning and an unyielding prioritization of academic diligence. <laughs> However, what we truly bonded over was that we were both Jewish, both from New York, and we were both gonna engineering students who'd be going pro in something other than engineering. Together, we have traveled across the country, from South Bend to Happy Valley to Iowa City to watch the University of Michigan's football team lose in ever more disappointing fashion. We have also seen the most thrilling of victories in Piscataway, New Jersey and College Park, Maryland. Between our time at Michigan and our first few years out of school, Max and I lived together for six of seven years, three years in Michigan, and three years in the city, bookends in a gap year with our long-winded friend over here. <laughs> Thanks, Amos. Elegant as always. For those that don't know how Shira and Max met, while Max and Shira both had been close friends of mine individually through college, they never actually met until we graduated from Michigan, if you have not yet heard, and settled in New York City. We were all doing our best to party as hard as we had at school while Shira slodged through her 1L year, and Max got his career off the ground. On a typical weekend, I meet up with Max, we'd grab dinner before we met up at Shira's Cardozo dorm room. There, we would meet up with other Michigan kids and their friends, and we'd pregame, and we'd go to the five bars that we would ultimately frequent. Little did I know, however, that during this time, unbeknownst to me, the mutual friend, these two were hooking up. <laughs> now, I'm not going to take all of the credit for this beautiful couple. After all, Max still had to show up, but we all know that Max is an animated and gregarious guy. He's full of life, he can light up a room, and he's there for his friends in meaningful ways. Shira likely saw in him what all of us here in this room see in Max, a great friend that never hesitates to keep you updated on every single detail of his life. That's right, Danny. Max is so comfortable having conversations about himself that it is no wonder that he asked for the two of us to both speak about him tonight. <laughs> let, me all, let me tell you all about living with Max. During our time living in the city together, Max served faithfully as my personal chef. Not only is Max a talented cook, but despite living in a New York City apartment, he also tends to a full garden of plants. Additionally, Max is a tea connoisseur. It was not unusual for Max to spend unspeakable amounts of money 
at the tea store. The guy loves his tea. So he's got the tea, he's got the plants, and he's always cooking up something good. Honestly, it was like living with my grandmother. <laughs> that is, if my grandmother was never able to get promoted from being a waiter at Olive Garden. This is a true story, guys. Max eventually tired of waiting on my beck and call, and the rest is history. Shira moved in with, Shira and Max moved in together, yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada. Before you know it, Max is down on one knee in not quite Paris, but the next best thing, the heart of Murray Hill. <laughs> but all jokes aside, Max and Shira, it is an honor to be standing up here. I am so fortunate to have you in my life. You two are such great friends to me, but more importantly, so great for each other. In closing, we want to make a toast to our favorite bridezilla, Max. Max. Max, we love you, man, and we really hope you still have stuff you want to talk to us about when you're done planning your wedding. But in seriousness, we're so thrilled for you both. We know you two will make a great family because we felt the profound effect of your friendships on our lives. We can't wait for this next chapter in our friendship, and we wish you the best on this special day. L'chaim. Woo! Gentlemen, please join them on the dance floor.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get into it. Time to get back to the party. Let's get on. A little earth, wind, and fire for you, ladies and gentlemen. Hold. Oh! Do you remember the twenty-first night of September?
Ladies and gentlemen, make Bennett work a little bit harder. Come on. Oh, don't you dare look back. Just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said, shut up and dance to me. This woman is my destiny. She said, Ooh. Everybody say. Don't you dare look back. Just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said, shut up.
at the dessert buffet keep doing what you're doing we just want to say a quick thank you to one everyone who's here thank you so much for coming it makes us feel really special that you would all travel here a lot of you are traveling here to celebrate us and we took a couple moments to take a step back and watch everyone dancing and just having a great time and we just want to say everyone here having a great time means so much to us we want to give a special thank you to everyone involved in tonight. Night Song, who's killing it. <laughs> Rachel, who's back there and behind the scenes. You don't know everything that she's done in the last couple of weeks to make this run uh, seamlessly. We want to thank our folks in the photo booth over there, all, uh, the caterer and everyone who's helping us out. and. A special thank you to Karen and Andy for hosting us tonight, and particularly Karen for all the hours that she slaved over this. It would not be possible without Karen, so please give them a huge round of applause. 
That's all. We just want to thank everyone, tell you we love you. And we're going to be right back on the dance floor as soon as the band comes back. We have one hour left. After that, we have buses to go back to the hotel. Right after we get back to the hotel, feel free to go directly to James Joyce to the after party or quickly change, get comfortable, and then go to James Joyce for the after party. Without further ado, back to Night Song.